Hello my beauties, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I wanted to do sort of like a casual um, makeup tutorial type thing. So I thought I'd sit in this chair, it's my favourite new spot. I put my makeup out and I'll just do my makeup for tonight or for the day as such. We are going out to the movies tonight so I thought I would just put some makeup on and then I'm all ready to go later on. So I hope you like this type of video. I hope it's nice and casual and that you can follow along. I love the products I've been using. I used quite a few by Terry products today because I watched a video where a lady used all by Terry products and I kind of got a little bit obsessed and wanted to see what I had in my collection. So it is a little bit by Terry based but the products are gorgeous. I love it and I'm really in love with this foundation. I think it's just perfect. I've had it for so long never use it so inspiration taken and I really love this look so I really hope you enjoy it and I will see you in my next video bye hello my beauties I'm starting off with my Kiehl's moisturizer this is the Centella recovery skin salve I love this moisturizer and it is perfect as a base for your makeup but on top of that I'm taking some of the by Terry terribly Doncelly primer I'm just applying this with a duo fiber brush all over my face and it is a beautiful serum based primer to help your makeup stick and then on the top of that I'm also going to be taking another by Terry product which is the by Terry terribly Doncelly foundation this is in the shade number 7.5 honey glow and I'm just doing that with a damp beauty blender for brightening the center of my face as well as under my eyes, I'm taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and this is in the shade Light Pale. I'm just popping that under my eyes, through the center of my face as well as a little bit on my chin as well and I'm just going to be blending it out with that same beauty blender. For brows, I'm just using my MAC Mystery Eyeshadow, it is gorgeous, I love the pigment, it is stunning. And I'm applying it with a Sigma Small Angle Brush. This is just the perfect shade for me at the moment and I adore it. To set them down, I'm taking some of my Ico Tinted Brow Gel and I'm just applying a little bit of this to both brows, just to set them in place and give them a little bit of texture. To set my face, I am taking the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. This is in the shade 52 Vanille, and I'm just using an Hourglass Number no. 7 brush to set down all over my face. It is a stunning powder, super finely milled, and has a really nice yellow tint to it to brighten your skin. I'm going to be priming my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm just taking a Real Techniques Duo Fiber brush to do this, and then I'm blending it in with my finger as well nice and flawless but to set this down I'm also going to be taking a little bit more of that bourgeois powder just on a MAC 217 brush to make it easier for us to blend the future shadows. So to start with for the crease colour I'm taking that same MAC 217 and a little bit of the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer in the shade Bronze 01. And then on a flat shader brush by Zoeva I'm taking a little bit of Max. This is the shade Expensive Pink. I love it and it is perfect for a casual spring look. So I'm just taking that bronzer again on a big powder brush. I really like how this brush is quite condensed. And I'm just bronzing up my face, so working on my cheeks, around my forehead as well as my chin and down my neck give a beautiful bronze glow. I love the sort of terracotta undertone of this bronzer. I think it is super flattering on fairer skin. And then to contour, I'm just taking a little bit of the By Terry. This is just one of their compacts and it is in the shade 7 Desert Bear on a NARS Eater brush. So I'm just doing my cheeks as well as slightly on my nose. And then I'm just blending that all together again with that same bronzer brush. Taking a little bit more of that contour shade, I'm just darkening up my crease. So I'm taking that same MAC 217 brush just to give it a little bit more definition. And then I'm taking a petite pencil brush by Zoeva and just applying that along the lower lash line just to balance it out a little bit. So before I drop my Kat Von D, this is the ink liner and it is in the shade Trooper. I'm just doing a thin line on my upper lash line just to give my lashes some definition. Before lining my waterline, this is with the By Terry Waterproof Liner in the shade Black Print. 
so I'm just putting that on my wood line and then I'm smudging it out using a Sigma pencil brush. When I smudge out my wood line, I find it gives a much softer effect. It looks nice and smoky and sultry, whereas I find if you leave it just in the wood line, it can look a little bit harsh. For mascara, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. You guys will be so sick of it by now, but I just love it. It works every time. So I'm putting quite a few generous coats on my lashes and going through one coat, then two coat, as well as doing my lower lash line as well. For blush, I'm taking another by Terry product. I told you it was going to be pretty by Terry Dents. And this is the Terribly Rose De Rose, and it is in the shade number one, Rose Inferno. I love this blush, it is stunning. Then for highlighter, I'm taking the Carly Bible palette and I'm taking the middle two highlighters. I'm just mixing them together, mostly focusing on the second to lighter one, and then it just generously applying that all over my face wherever I want a nice glow to come through. This is actually my favourite step. I think highlighter is amazing and I love choosing which highlighter to use for the day. I think it just gives your skin that extra step, that extra glow, and it just makes your face look flawless. These highlighters from the Kali Bible palette by BH Cosmetics are really great. They're super affordable, super pigmented, and really nice and smooth. They apply really evenly, and they're really good if you're wanting to add some highlighters to your collection, but you don't want to fork out a lot of money. I'm lining my lips with the Kevin Aucoin Lip Liner and this is in the shade Minimal. It is a perfect match for the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Soft Spoken. They are literally like a match made in heaven and I love them. This lip pencil is beautiful by itself as well as you can see. So then I'm just applying a little bit of the NYX shade all over. You can see it is just like perfectly matching the lip liner. This is my new absolute favourite combo. I've worn it for the last couple of days and it is the only lip combo that has gotten me away from wearing my nudes. So if that doesn't say something, I don't know what does, but I love it. It is the perfect shade of Dusty Rose. And then we are all done. I hope you liked the look and I will see you in my next video. Bye.